This was Kiriente's photogram trip before, and this is ours now. This was our photogram trip before, and this is now. This was the PBR generated in Kiriente before, and this is now. Welcome to the Kiri Engine 4.0. In this latest update, we're focusing on improving Kiri's most used scanning mode, PhotoScan. PhotoScan is powered by Photogrammetry, a long-lived computer vision algorithm that turns 2D photos into 3D models. It finds matching details in your pictures, connects them like puzzle pieces, and builds a precise 3D point cloud that becomes your final 3D scan. While Photogrammetry has been widely used across industries to create stunning models, there's one major drawback that stops it from reaching more people. That is, the skin quality relies heavily on the object's texture. Like this one, the results are not very usable, right? That's because Photogrammetry builds a point cloud from the feature points on the object's surface. And if there aren't enough features or textures, the point cloud ends up looking messy and unstable. So here comes the first exciting part of the 4.0 update. Our photo scan mode has leveled up so much that even low texture objects are now easier to scan with the free photo scan mode. For example, if we were to scan this Xbox controller with previous photogrammetry, because its surface is mainly white with very little texture features, it would just produce a very wobbly mesh. But the photo scan in 4.0 update, it does a much better job, don't you think? But don't get me wrong, if we are going after a perfect mesh surface from these low texture objects, featureless object scan in Kiri Engine is still your best way to go. But other than that, you will also find that the overall surface quality of our new photo scan mode to be much better than our older version. A while back, I made a tutorial video to show you how to 3D scan person's head and 3D print it. Back then, our photo scan results were so rough for a human head that we had to clean it up in Blender. But with our new photogrammetry in 4.0, it looked like this. I'm totally okay leaving the surface as is. I just add eyeballs and go for printing. Another exciting update we did is the PBR training algorithm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but for the first time in the 3D scanning history, professional PBR materials can now be generated with the diffusion model. Yes, it's the same principle that I use in Midjourney and other image generating AI. This diffusion model does a better job in segmenting material properties, and the PBR generation is now at a much higher accuracy. Yo, check this out. We can now turn off the texture display in Kiri Engine. Uh, all right, all right. I know it may not look huge, but actually a lot was done to make it happen. Because Kiri Engine can generate 3D models at super dense poly counts, Believe it or not, but we don't have a renderer for our phone that renders this many triangles before. So if you paid close attention before, you'll see context showing Kiri Engine that the 3D model displayed was only a low poly version. You actually needed to download it to computer to see the full model. Therefore, back then, we decided not to have the texture switch, because even if we were able to switch off the texture in Kiri Engine before, it would not represent the actual mesh quality at all. But in 4.0, we introduced a new compression algorithm so we can finally render the full version of 2D scan right on our phone. That's why we are finally bringing the texture switch to the Kiri engine. And that's it for this video. If you like what we do at Kiri, uh, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. And I'll see you next time.